Hello everyone, welcome back to more Soup Auto Pets on the test server. And my phone's on loud, let's go. Uh, we'll get Silk Moth, I like the Silk Moth, he's pretty good. This guy, yes, if we give him any egg, any egg, any food perk, and we sell him later on, we get a free egg perk back. Um, oh, they've changed the goose. The goose was two and six yesterday, or the last time we played, which is actually two days ago. Since then, they must have updated it. So he now removes one attack from the first enemy. Let's try it. That seems pretty cool, actually. Um, I've got tutorials again. Interesting. I don't want to go for the magpie. I think we only want the magpie if we're going to go for like a gold build, which I haven't really successfully done yet. Uh, the powerful pants it is. Well, let's go, everybody. Welcome back. How are you all doing today, anyway? Um, okay, let's go. That's going to remove one. Oh, why is it reset all my stuff, man? Autoplay fast. There we go. Then they've updated the test server by the looks of it. So uh, things are different. We, do we have an identical build? No, we had a bulldog. And I've just noticed they've actually changed my sound. <laughs> my sound settings to max. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. I'm going to get an op opossum. I'm going to put an egg on this guy. Because when we sell this guy... When we sell this guy, uh, we'll get the egg back for free. And then I could get another goose here, which would remove another attack from the first enemy. So the enemy's going to lose two attack now, I think. Let's have a look, actually. So keep an eye on that, uh, that opossum at the front. No, only one. Okay, so it doesn't stack. Okay, that's important to know. We'll get those goose, those geese merged pretty soon then. Nice one. That's a victory. This is so loud. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. Turret number one. Turret number one. <laughs> Trophy number one. Okay, let's get another opossum. Let's get... Team is full. Choose one pet to sell. No, thanks. Let's get a chipmunk. I do want to buy a pet because I want to kind of merge these now that I know that they're not that useful. Um... No faint pets. I'm just thinking chocolate cake for, with, with, with a faint pet would work quite well. Let's get this guy upgraded. If we sell you, we get two free copies. Okay. End turn. Give one random friend of the current shop tier. I don't think that's ever going to work for us, to be honest. Wait, are apples in this pack? I feel like apples weren't in this pack before. Okay. Maybe there's some patch notes to the test server that I haven't seen. Oh, okay. Okay. He's not going to be big enough to kill their um groundhog that's fine nice one oh god oh yeah we're fine it's a draw actually golden retriever bro golden retriever saved the day for them okay uh well i can get a level two goose which i think i should do remove two attack from the first enemy make the first sorry make the most healthy enemy weak if we sell you, you give one random pet with a faint ability plus one plus one i hope it's the sea urchin it is the sea urchin. Okay, well, you're going to the front sea urchin. Remove five health from the first enemy. This guy's going to remove two attack from the first enemy. I'm tempted to get a flea on the board. We'll keep the silk moth frozen. Okay, there's a level two silk moth next turn. I'm just thinking, is there anybody that I really want to faint? Well, you can't make you faint in the planning phase because there's no enemies to remove five HP from. Okay, then. The powerful pants versus the sulking beavers. Let's have a look. That guy's already got no health and no attack. So you can't actually take him down to 0-0. Zero, zero. You can take him down to 1-1. One, one. Okay, lots of egg fights going on. Happy days, people. Happy days. Our little flea gets us the win. Come on. Two trophies. Okay, so... I think I'm just going to go for level 2, this guy. Now, what did you, I liked you last time. When you faint, give the nearest friend behind plus 4 attack plus 2 health. See, you could freeze both of these. Oh, mate, I'm onto it. I'm going to sell. I probably should sell you. But you're 5 and 4, so I do kind of want to keep you. Uh, I'll tell you what. No, let's, oh, no, let's not do that because we'll get rid of the cake. I'm actually going to sell the flea. I'm going to buy one of these. My plan with this is... If we chocolate... Oh, we can't chocolate fish it twice. Bro, we can't chocolate fish it once. Oh, no, we can chocolate fish it twice because it's next turn it dies, right? Wait, gain plus free experience before faint? Bro, we can get this guy to level three and then he faints and then that will give... 
the pet behind him like plus 12 plus 6 i'm all for that <sighs> okay uh and a faint before attacking wait wait so when does he faint like right at the end of the planning phase or right at the start of the fight or that's a really important thing i guess we're gonna test it i guess we're about to test it this is a win let's go okay three trophies oh, please are we, are, we, are we ready for this this guy okay, and plus free experience and faint before attacking Oh, it's a perk. It's not food. So you can only have one on at once. This guy would faint before attacking. Okay. So I guess it makes sense to put it on you then as well. Really? Because you're not really going to be doing a lot of attack damage. Which then, it doesn't make sense to put that on you or that on you. Oh, this is... This is interesting now for sure. These two are going to die like straight away. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> Um, I maybe can't have both of these. Ah, oh, if chocolate cake was the same as it used to be. Maybe this would have worked really well. This guy faints immediately, look, and takes HP off the front too. And that guy dies. Okay, maybe this isn't going to work as planned. That guy's going to, yeah, snipe. Hang on. No, there's a course. There's a golden retriever. I thought we had that then. I thought we had a draw. Okay. So, I think I'm going to sell... Really? I don't think this is going to work, to be honest. Hmm, okay. Also, what's going on outside now? Are you kidding me? Okay, bear with me for a second, people. Sorry about this. Hello, people, I'm back. That is the trouble we live in where I live. It's just constantly in the development. Wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... I think I'm going to forget about the chocolate cake on this guy. It's my plan right now. Feed an eggplant to you. Wait, they changed what eggplant does as well. But eggplant was giving people like plus four yesterday. Now it's pushed opposite enemy one space forward. On, I don't want that on him. Okay, that's really upset me. I'm, I'm, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to make this decision. We're going to sell the chipmunk, which will give us two free eggs. Which I'm going to give to these two guys. I'm then going to go ahead and buy African penguin number one. African penguin number two. And then goose. Goose is now our biggest unit. So the goose goes to the front. These guys can actually go back a bit now. You've really got to stay at the front, I suppose. You don't have to, but you probably should. Um, okay, they've changed all the foods. I need to read. Is a test server after all, so they, they are going to change things all the time. Um, oh my God, look at the hats these guys have got on. What the hell? The old Burberry caps. Oh my days. Okay, well, there goes. Oh, let's go. Oh, so there goes our little goose, but it worked out well in the end. We got four trophies. Okay. Um, two friends faint. Give the nearest friend behind plus three, plus three. Friends summoned. If in battle, give it one experience, one attack. If in battle. So like a slug, maybe? That would make sense for a slug. It doesn't need experience. Hmm. We'll have to look into this. Although it could help, I guess. It would just buff them, wouldn't it? It would add plus one, plus one anyway. And then the extra plus one attack. So maybe it... It would uh, work. Give three pets from the current tier. Give one pet the cherry perk. Gain two trumpets on faint. Okay, so the cherries have changed as well. We have got a slug. Um, but I would need that thing that, you know, what's the thing called? I would need the thing that does the thing. Uh, I would need the... Is it a deer? That every time someone faints, you get a trumpet. This guy, the antelope. Okay, so we could go for you now. Gain free gold on next turn. Um, I'm actually just going to buy another penguin. How about that? Please buff. I want you to buff this guy, but it's okay. This guy is now 10 and 7, so guess what? You're going forward. Okay. Interesting uh, team here, to be honest. Uh, got some level 1s up front. We've still got a silk moth. Okay, and let's just see how we get on. Nice, it's a trade in the end, thanks to his lowered attack and lowered HP. The better fish is put in work. He's going to buff the silk moth. He then gets made weak. Oh, no. Okay, it's a draw, though. Okay. Man, if they didn't make him weak, it would have been quite good, but it's okay. Uh, 
if they change these. Give one put the potato pick. Take 10 less damage from abilities twice. Okay. Do quite like the sea lion. It would give friends ahead health. Okay. And then I'm going to commit to removing the silk moth and adding a sea lion instead. Okay. Here, I kind of really don't want to do this, but at the same time, friend ahead hurt. Give melon armor. I feel like that should go there instead. Instead of the sea lion. Or should we just get rid of like... Should we get rid of the goose? He's been with us for a long time. Let's get rid of the goose. Let's keep you. So all you're going to do is give attack to this guy. These guys are going to get HP. But then again, these guys need HP. We're going to buy the better fish. And then... I'm just going to do this to get free gold next turn. Instead of re-rolling, I guess. Okay. Okay. I need level twos, man. I got four level ones. The only level two I've got is a goddamn penguin. Uh, well, he dies anyway, doesn't he, before? Yeah. Okay, and then gives that guy loads of HP. Nice. Okay, what does this guy do? Summon one 1616 griller. Wait, what? Can we replay that? I'm pretty sure that guy's ability said summon a 1616 griller, but he died. Ooh, okay. I've got chocolate bars. I've got two. I personally want to go for the sea lion. Because it's going to be plus two, plus two. I'm going to buy another one. Now, here it is. Summon one griller with the same food perk as this. So, why didn't? I'm just going to watch it back. And I'm going to slow it down once we get to that monkey. It's going to be now. So, summon... One eight eight griller with the same food perk as this. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, start of battle. Oh my god, I thought it was faint. So there's no room for it to actually spawn. Oh dear. Oh dear. Poor guy. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll and see if we can find anything we want. I'll take another African penguin. I'll take another chocolate bar. I want to get this guy to level three, so he gives plus three. Across the board in different areas, obviously. A level two better fish. Okay. The better fish, bro. What a, what a name. Probably not pronounced like that, but I just it's funny to me. Okay. They've got a pretty big team. They've got an octopus, which I do like. I should put this back on fast. They have got an octopus, which I do like. Oh, better fish is weak. He's big enough to kill that guy. And that guy. Oh, my God. The better fish is cracked. Oh, it's the melon armor, isn't it? It's the melon armor from the crane. Yo, let's go. Six trophies, my people. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get you to level two. Give the nearest friend plus eight, plus four. I like that when you fight. Okay. Friend ahead attack deal 20%. That's been buffed. That used to be 10%. I'm going to go ahead and give chocolate to the sea lion. I'm going to keep you frozen for a second and I'm going to re-roll. Level three sea lion it is. Give plus three attack to friends behind and plus three health to friends ahead. Okay, interesting. I'm going to freeze a waffle so we can give it to uh, the African penguin. Okay. I'm just thinking, is there anybody that we actually want to faint early? I suppose. This front line is still not it, you know? Uh, <laughs> I might swap him around soon. The thing is now is how do we balance this with the sea lion? Do we keep moving the... I guess we do have to keep moving the teams around. The, the pets round so they get health and attack not necessarily equally but we kind of like a you know 50 and 5 penguin okay there is going to be a golden retriever here it's not going to be very big nice let's go people come on yes now seven trophies Ooh, let's get a penguin the catfish is good start of turn activate by ability on the nearest friend so if we got you to level three, for example, we could just do that. Anybody else got a buy ability? No. But then, do we get rid of? I don't think we do get rid of this guy. So I'm gonna carry on like this. If we can get some more waffles, maybe let this guy buff a few people the way he is right now. Okay. Uh, I actually do want the better fish, but to me right now, give one pet the pit bread pit. Gain 15 health when hurt once. That seems really good. I'm gonna give this guy a buy ability though. Nice, buffed our little urchin friend at the front. He needs it. He really does need it. I feel like we're going to have to swap some people around soon because this isn't working. Well, it is working, but like 
16 HP. Do you know what I mean? Like that, really. Okay, nice. He did die in the end. Okay. He's got, he's got melon armor, which is good. He does eventually die, and they've got... Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. That one hurts, to be honest. Down to three lives. Okay. I think I need to get some of these things switched around. Um... These two mainly, but how do I like... I suppose I could just move this guy forward, couldn't I? Give them all attack, but this guy needs HP, so you need to come to the front for a bit. Oh, I don't know what to think about this. This is not... This is not a vibe right now. Tomato is better than eggs. I'm going to freeze tomato. Reroll. Okay, I'm going to have to go with waffle. And keep tomato frozen. I think I should buy tomato. Yeah, let's replace eggs with tomatoes if we can. But I also like the idea of the pita bread. Healing them when they get hit. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's the trade. What I'm not fine with is this gorilla. Okay, hey, coconut armor's been removed though. But then he's still going to kill our guys. Yep, yeah, because he's got more coconut armor, of course. Okay. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Hmm. Down to two hearts. I'm going to keep it like this for a little bit more. I can get another crane. Give one pet plus two plus two. Double if all pets are tier four or higher. That is not the case, I'm afraid. Buy the crane. Okay. That would be a level two crane. I'm going to freeze the waffle as well. That would be... Oh, not quite a level three penguin. I don't know. I think I'm... Yeah, my front line. Oh, I can't have the penguin at the front, man. I think once we get the penguin to like, you know, 15, 15 or whatever, we're going to have to move like the normal front line back. So this looks like maybe a good win. Oh, it's a, they're going for a big golden retriever by the looks of it. Oh, they are. Yeah, okay. This isn't too bad for us though. I think tomatoes are going to help loads as well if I can actually buy some. Okay. Good. That's eight trophies. Oh my God. Come on. I'm going to get a level 2 crane, so that'll give two melon armors now. I'm going to buy an African penguin. Okay, nice. I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Buy ability on the penguin it is. Oh, the sea lion got buffed for a change. Right, do I want to move the front line back? I think I do, because they've got a few turns now where they can get some HP. Okay. Uh, that's going to give them all HP. I think that's what we want right now, isn't it? You want HP and these guys want HP. Yeah, man, let's do that. I just need to get tomatoes on the other three pets. Really? Okay. Oh, oh hang on. Hang on, what's going on? Why has that guy just been immediately killed? Why did their griller just get immediately killed? I have to rewatch that one as well, but that is trophy number nine. Right, okay. Um, let's rewatch this one. Let's watch it in slow motion. Gain coconut perk. What kills him? Oh, they, they put chocolate cake on him. <laughs> they put chocolate cake on the griller. Okay, I'm going to go tomato on you straight away. I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to freeze better fish. Do I want to do that? Oh, I'm going to actually go... No, because it's, it's a buy ability. That doesn't actually count. Okay. Looks like it's just going to be a better fish purchase. That's good, actually, isn't it? I should have maybe done that earlier on. Um, I think that's the first one I've seen, actually. Okay, we've got a chocolate bar. I think it is going to go to the better fish. It's no point giving it to the penguin, because the penguin is a buy ability, not like an upgrade ability or anything. Okay, let's put it back on fast forward. This is a big team. I think we're going to, yeah, start matching against some actual, like, you know, big players now, like this. Okay. Well, we're on nine trophies and we've got one life. The thing is, right, this is where we're coming up against people with, like, tier five, tier six pets across the board. And I'm here with, like, tier two, tier three, tier two, tier four. Right. It's my own fault, though, but I've enjoyed this one. That's all that really matters. Um... Better fish will I give plus 12, plus 6. Okay. Can I get anything at all that's going to help me out? These things aren't really going to help me, but I will freeze them in case I make it past. Okay, chocolate bar. I would love to give it to the penguin, but it's not... Like I said, it's not a 
worthy, like it doesn't work. I'm going to give him to the crane and see if we can get the crane to level three. If we can draw this, although it's, yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to draw this. It's going to be a loss probably. It could be a win, but this is it. No, it's a massive team. Absolutely massive team. Yeah, okay. We've got a pretty good scale. And what's scale in their team? No, I guess activate buy ability of the nearest friend behind and he's got the octopus. I definitely should have bought that then shouldn't I? that have been a buy ability every turn for this guy thinking about it i should have bought that when we saw it well that's this that's our best run yet with a golden pack nine trophies <gasps> football cap yo let's go just in time for the world cup people okay let's uh let's go again i really enjoyed that run oh my god look at us okay i'm thinking about this just because you know, we start off. Yeah, let's go for it. We do start off like this. Although you, this isn't really a good setup thinking about it. Um, you create one trumpet. You're going to. Mm, okay, maybe not. Maybe this isn't the way to go. Uh, let's just try it though. Let's go for the super auto stinkers. So, oh man, I think, yeah, catfish is the way to go there with that build. I think catfish would have changed that. What would we have replaced for catfish though? What would we have replaced for catfish? I'm trying to think. Hmm. What did we have? A sea urchin, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Replace food shop with one. Okay, we, we know what you do. We know what you do. Could put a bulldog on for the time being. And I wouldn't be against the chipmunk, so. Okay, yeah, let's put a chipmunk on. Let's freeze the egg. I'm going to freeze the groundhog. I'm going to give the egg to the chipmunk. Because, of course, when we sell this guy, we'll get three eggs back. Okay. Nice. He's killed one of them already. Happy days. That guy's pretty beefy, though. Okay. Here we go. Down to a 3v2. Uh-oh. No, we lose. <laughs> okay. No worries. No worries. We've got a bit of a weak build at the minute. But we're going to improve on it, as we always do. We've reached turn three and we get our life back immediately. So that's that's pretty good to me. Right, pretty early sea urchin. And I do like the sea urchin. So I'm just thinking about it a little bit. Um, give one pet the cherry pit gain. Plus two trumpets on faint. So why don't we just put that on everybody for now? Okay, let's get another bulldog. Let's get more cherries. Put them on everybody. Let's try to get like, the biggest golden retriever early game that we can get maybe. Maybe that's like a, a nice early game tactic. Oh, of course, this guy's got his his tail falls off. Oh, this is not this is not good. This is not good. No. Although golden retriever four and four, let's go. It is good, people. It is. I forgot about the golden retriever, even though I was literally just talking about it. Immediately forgot about it. Okay, I like this guy, African penguin. Who do we sell? I think we sell you immediately, but not just yet. I think we give Cherry to you first. I think now I sell you. You're going to give me free egg. I'm going to add a penguin who's going to buff. Let's go. And then I'm going to add another bulldog. And I'm actually going to give the egg to you because we don't need the trumpet when you faint. Okay. Level two bulldog. Another African penguin. I just need to get some cherries for this African penguin. And then that's... Four cherries, so that's four extra trumpets. So that takes us to five trumpets total. Then the guy at the front uses one, so it will be four. Wait, no, it's going to be... It'll be six at the minute, but it'll be eight eventually, won't it? Okay, nice. I mean, not nice. Oh, they also had a golden retriever. Okay. Okay. I think, honestly, that's going to make a difference there. Level two bulldogs, that's quite nice. I think we get another African penguin. Okay, why that's buffed the bulldog, but it's fine. If in battle, give it. That's no, not going to work for me. Um, I don't like the eggplant anymore. I can't believe they've changed that. Give one pet the chocolate cake. Do I want it to faint before attacking? I don't think I do. Oh, maybe you could. No, let's. I think we'll re-roll. We'll freeze another African penguin. We'll freeze another bulldog. Okay. So all I really want is, I guess. More cherries and then more trumpet things, maybe. I like the change to cherries. I think that's pretty good. It used to be what? Give one extra trumpet whenever this pet creates a trumpet, I think. OK, 
Okay, just this little bird fella at the back. Oh, and a golden retriever. Okay. Happy days. Didn't even need our golden retriever, mate. Didn't even need him. Three trophies secured. Let's get a level two African penguin. That buffs this guy. Okay. I, I do still want to try like a poison dart frog and a slug build at some point, but not right now. Um, let's get you to level two. Okay, so I still do need cherries. I love the fact that the hat on the slug is not on his head. It's on his back. <laughs> okay. Nice. Already down to a four versus three. Okay, never mind. Three versus three. Two versus two. Their penguin's bigger. Oh, no. Oh, we've got a seven and seven golden, though. Bro, I, f I actually forget about it every time. Like, I'm not even kidding. I actually forget that that thing's about to pop in and win us the round. Okay, let's get another groundhog. Let's re-roll. I'm not a huge fan of the silk moth at the minute, but I will buy one. I mean, he's nine and six, so I've got to kind of just use him at the minute. We'll get cherries and the penguin to help with the trumpets. Okay, so there's eight trumpets alone there. There's two from this guy, ten. This guy uses one, so that's nine trumpets. We should get a nine and nine golden. Which will be quite nice. Oh, hang on, that thing at the back needs to die. Oh, no. Because they've got slugs. Whenever somebody faints, that's going to give them a trumpet. Oh, no. And then that summons a monkey, but luckily he's already... There isn't enough space. Oh, we don't even get past the slugs, I don't think. Yeah, this is not... This is not good. Look at the size of this guy as well. Hang on, what do you do? Friend ahead faints. Oh, my God. Okay, we're, we're copying this if we see this. So we want an ox, we want a slug, and we want the... Okay, there's the ox. Who do we sell for the ox? Is it we got anybody that can be a sell pet? We don't. You're going. Okay, we're going to buy an ox. I kind of like the idea of this as well, to be honest. You're one and one, so not right now. Not without a slug. I think it's a dangerous purchase. I'm going to give Waffle to the penguin. Buffs the bulldog. Let's let the bulldog stay in for a bit then. Okay, no slug. Get three pets from the current shop tier. We're currently shop tier four, which is none of these pets. Okay, re-rolls it is. Another bulldog, another penguin, another silk moth, even though I was kind of planning on getting rid of the silk moth. <laughs> and the bulldog, to be fair, but I guess not anymore. Why have I put him at the front? Oh my god, I've just... Why have I done that? Not only is he the weakest, his ability is literally gets health and attack when thing in front of him faints like this. Can our golden carry us to victory? You know what? I think he can get us a draw. No, he can't. Oh, okay. That's a massive misplay by me. Let's... Well, let's get you purchased. Okay, of course it goes to you. Let's get you to level two. I'm then going to re-roll. Okay, there is another one of you. That's nice. You're going to go to here. And I think for now, I'm going to buy the buyability for the penguin again. Okay. Yeah, I'm not so sure on this now, actually, thinking about it. I think we haven't got the right pets. Like, I'm trying to force something, and you shouldn't really force a build on this game because it doesn't tend to usually go the way that you want it to. Okay, nice. That guy actually got a kill. It's a big risk taking the ox without any of the slugs. But also, like, I don't know who to sell when we do get the slugs and the... Yeah, okay. Well, listen, we've got another buy ability, which I'm going to give to the penguin again. I think this is like my best way of scaling at the minute. And then I will actually buy a bulldog. I'm going to keep the ox frozen. I'm going to re-roll. There's another silk moth. There's also chocolate, which I might get. Do I want to get you to level 3? I feel like I don't. I feel like I'd rather get the ox to level 3. So I'll freeze both of those. And I'll buy a silk moth instead. Because those two units at the front are our biggest units. I can't really replace those until we get something else working. So do I even want slugs at this point? Is it actually worth getting rid of this guy? Maybe buying something else given those the chocolate bar? I do want one of these. Oh, maybe I just save the chocolate bar for something else. Or give it to something else and forget about this altogether. Okay, I quite like the idea of you, but you're deal 20% attack damage. But then I've got to buff your attack, so that's not really going to work out too well for me. And I can't exactly put you behind this guy because the silk moth needs to be there. 
Okay, I'll do it for now. Because he's still going to get a buff right from the thing in front of him fainting. So it's not the end of the world. He's still going to get plus... Oh, plus two, plus four. Okay, maybe it is the end of the world. Um, give one pet plus two, plus two. Honestly, I think that's worth on its own. I'm going to give it to the bulldog, though. All pets aren't above tier four, so it won't get doubled. I'm not really using the whole trumpet thing properly, am I, though, yet? I kind of saw that one guy's build. This guy's got a slug and a thing as well, and loads of things that summon more things. Okay. This guy's going to have a huge golden retriever spawn. And we're not going to have the facilities to deal with it because our silk moth is going to die to that dog. Oh, no. And then there's... Oh, my God. This guy just loves it. This guy actually loves it, doesn't he? He loves it. This guy's got it smack on. I bet he's so happy with himself. I would be if I got this to work. Oh, my God. Let's go. We got a draw after all that. I forgot about our golden retriever again. Okay. Right. Right, friends. I think this is where I may want to start changing the, the way. I'm going to buy a ringed octopus, which is going to give everybody plus one, plus one. And we want a catfish. What tier is a catfish? I genuinely don't know. I think it's an early tier, isn't it? No, it's tier six. Okay, we have got tier six pets unlocked though, so that's quite good. I'm going to freeze the bulldog. Okay, this is... There's the catfish. We could sell a level three, get a catfish. Who are we going to sell for the catfish? It's got to be the groundhog, right? It's got to be. Or do we sell... No, hang on. Hang on. Do I maybe sell you and just put a catfish in front of this guy? Because this guy's only level one. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we should adapt from the the, the, the trumpet build right now. Get a scaling build going on with a few tomatoes. Start sniping some fellas. I don't actually like the bulldog that much. Because he does... As soon as he loses his HP and his attack gets set down to that low HP, it's... It is over, isn't it? Oh, coconut armor. God damn it. Okay. I need to think about what I'm going to do here. Do I... Catfish you? Or do I catfish you? I need to think about this. I do not know what to do. That would buff everybody every turn. Plus one. That would buff one person. I feel like that's going to be more valuable. But I'm still going to go ahead and get rid of the groundhog, even though he is 10 and 7. Okay. I'm going to give chocolate bar to you, which I know doesn't count as a buy ability, but I just want to get him like level 2 so we can buff things better. Or we could have got a level 2 catfish. Um, right, I'm forgetting about the cherries. So this is the build that we're going with for now. I think I'm dead here, to be honest. Oh, man. How many have got nine trophies in our first run? And then I come to this. Okay, well, they're going to trade. Nice. Yeah, we're not big enough, to be honest. Everyone's got gorillas as well, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, no, we don't have anything to... We don't have any, like, capability here. Oh, okay. I'm going to go one more time because I'm actually having, like, a lot of fun. Um, And I, I, that... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I just... I got a bit distracted with the slug thing there halfway through. So I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to re-roll. Okay. Give the nearest friend behind plus two health. I feel like that's really good. But maybe for next turn. So the magpie is kind of useless. But he's one and four, which is better than that. So yeah, this is not a strong start <laughs> um, by any means. I'm going to go for the sizzling astronauts. Because, you know, if they do get too close to the sun, they do be they do be sizzling. Um, yeah, I really didn't expect to get a lot from this, to be honest this first fight although we got a draw okay nice we got loads more of these little snail things coming up so let's just get a few of those let's uh freeze you might keep you frozen for a turn yeah okay let's let's, let's merge these guys let's buy a tamarind okay and then i'll just freeze both of you i'm not really going to use the magpies actually so i'm not going to freeze the magpie I, knew, I do need to get a gold build going at some point, but I just... I don't want to do it now. I really do want to get, like, a slug 
um, antelope thing going. That just seems fun to me. Like that guy had it working pretty well, even though we did draw in the end, but it was quite fun. Okay, nice. We save ourselves a draw. Okay, good. As long as I'm staying in it, even though we do get lives back, I think, but it's cool. Level two cone snail. Okay, so you're going to give the nearest friend behind plus four health. Okay. You're free and four, but if you faint, you give us money. So we might as well just add that to the build. I'm going to add another... In fact, I'm going to freeze the tamarind. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, do I want to do this? I'm going to get rid of the bulldog. I'm going to put you to there. I'm going to buy an African penguin. Nice. Okay, buff the cone snail. I'm going to keep the other tamarind frozen. I feel like this would be good with that build, but we don't have the antelope yet, so I feel like I don't want to do that. Um, maybe I should buy some eggs, you know? get some. It's extra damage, isn't it? So, yeah, we should buy some eggs. I don't think I'm going to go trumpet build like full, full trumpet build just yet i can't really commit to that at the moment because we've literally only got a tamarind and a roadhog <laughs> not a roadhog a groundhog i'm playing too much overwatch 2 <laughs> too much overwatch 2 um okay let's get a tamarind let's get an egg on you let's freeze this egg and re-roll okay let's get a level 2 tamarind and then I'll freeze the groundhog. I'll keep this guy frozen. Another cone snail. Freezing lots of things right now. And I'm not really sure if I like it or not. Um, don't like that bulldog. Yet. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, he does die though. Good. We will have a snipe here from the tamarind. Although he only snipes one person because there's only one left, I think. But it's fine with me. Two trophies. Okay, let's get the cone snail. I'm debating the groundhog purchase right now. I don't think I want to go ahead with it. To be honest. What do I want to go ahead with instead? Honestly, the better fish. But then we're going to lose out on the trumpet that this guy provides. But we could add you, couldn't we? Okay, yeah, let's add you. And then I still think I want to get the better fish in here somewhere which i think we get rid of the weasel for maybe okay freeze another better fish okay okay this isn't too bad hopefully this guy doesn't get one shot so we can in fact get hurt so we can still snipe with a tamarind okay he will survive that silk moth attack oh and the ant attack okay nice got hurt twice not that they got okay doesn't really help us anyway because we're pretty um behind but the tamarind oh my god it does they're gonna draw no they're not gonna draw because we've got a golden retriever oh let's go i forgot about him again i forgot about him again okay better fish again i honestly think cone snail again and then i could give you hp which would keep you alive which would get us more things but i like the situation we're in right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and give you an egg okay Okay, I don't know what I want to build. That's the issue, man. I'm just having so much fun just like with the early game pets. I haven't even explored the late game pets too much yet. Oh, he's not going to... Yeah, he's not going to get... There's no trumpets being created here. That guy's got 12 HP. Oof. Oof. Okay. Okay, we deserve that one. We deserve that one. Um, hmm. Friend ahead faints, which would be you. So I am starting to think about just getting rid of everything altogether. Friend ahead faints. So you're going to faint and give him a buff. He'll give himself a little tiny buff. There's a level two better fish. Okay. Whoa, look at these guys. No, thanks. Um, I'm going to freeze the waffle for the penguin. Two waffles for the penguin. You know what? Actually, I'm going to buy one of them. And then I'll freeze the ox. Buff the ox anyway. Okay. See, now I'm starting to think about the future. Obviously, I'd not, I don't want to have the guinea fowl for too long now because I'm not really going trumpets until... Well, I'm not really going trumpets until we get a slug and a... Whatchamacallit? I don't know what it's called. The slug would work quite well with this guy anyway. So, like, I think it's worth getting the slug. Oh, my God. They've got a bigger golden than us. Not that it matters. Um, okay, down to three lives. Let's get a level two ox. Nice. Okay. I'm going to keep the waffle frozen. I'm going to reroll. There is another guinea fowl, but that's what I want instead. 
friend faints, gain one trumpet. So I'm going to sell you now and commit to this. I'm going to have to go like that for now, which isn't too great. I'm going to keep waffles. I'm going to put it on the penguin. I think we need to get rid of the cone snail pretty soon. Well, I guess we'll get a slug at some point. And if we get a slug, this guy's going to have to go. I'm going to get the poison dart frog because I want him. Oh, that's friend ahead faints. No, that's friend ahead, not in front, right? Could be any friend ahead. We put this, the frog at the back or does it have to be directly in front of the... No, I think it is. The, yeah, friend. Uh, yeah, because the ox. Same for the ox. Okay. Has to be the friend directly in front. So I guess the frog's not what we want to go. I'd rather go with the ox. Unless we get like a two slug situation. We go like slug ox. Slug. Or slug frog, slug ox. Now there's the slugs. So this is what I'm thinking. Obviously... I would like you to be in front of the ox still, but the truth is, well, hang on. That summons two more slugs. That's three faint buffs, right? That's only plus six, plus 12. This guy gives plus eight, plus four. Is the HP more important to us or is the... Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm trying to think this through. I'm, I'm rethinking the penguin decision right now. Um... This guy needs to go, but he is at the minute. Like, he's doing okay, isn't he? Okay, I honestly think I'm going to get rid of you. I think this guy getting plus 6, plus 12 is better than him getting plus 8, plus 4. So he only misses out on 2 attack. Okay, and we'll soon upgrade this guy so he gets more anyway, I think. And then, this is the thing I don't like, is that you're going to be buffing a penguin. Poison Dart Frog won't work with this build. Yet. The Ringed Octopus is back. And I could get a catfish with it. What are we thinking? No. Okay, there's the better fish. I'm going to freeze that. So I'm not actually going to buy the better fish yet. I'd rather buy the penguin and let him buff the slug. Okay. Okay. Maybe there's hope here, friends. We can always move the slug back a little bit and then put like a banana on him so he summons a monkey and stuff like that. It's also the pet that summons pigs, which I can't think. I think it's this guy, isn't it? It is this guy. So we can always get that dog and summon some pigs. Also, the size of this octopus, this does not look like a comfortable victory. Although, although it's a draw, we take those. Okay, I forgot about that whole antelope situation. That's another reason why we're doing this is because this guy is going to give us loads of uh, trumpets. Okay, I'm going to give this to you. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, so we want... I guess we would get rid of the penguin, wouldn't we? To be honest, he's level one. I think he needs to go anyway, but that's where we put that dog that summons the pigs. Hmm, melon armor on this guy. Okay. Maybe a crane behind our ox could be an option here. Well, we tried. We've still got a few lives left, I think. Two lives, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, I think, yeah, a crane behind the ox would be good. Catfish would start the buy ability, but I can't keep having everybody like this, can I? But I think for now, maybe, just activate this guy's, you know? I haven't even seen that dog yet. That There's the crane that I wanted. So now do I want to go ahead with the crane or do I want to get this guy to buff? Honestly, looking at this, this is bad. This is a level one pet. All he's given is plus two, plus one. This isn't worth it to me. I think I'd rather have the crane there. But now I've just wasted so much money doing this. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze the chocolate bar. I'm going to sell the African penguin. I'm going to buy an ox. I'm not really feeling good about this right now, to be honest. I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to give the chocolate bar to the ox because I want him to get level three. Okay. Oh, I was about to say we'll get rid of the coconut armor with the slug, but we won't because the monkey's in front. 
Oh, no. And of course... Oh, bro. We need one of those things. Why haven't I... Yeah, we, we needed a flying fish. Why? I forgot about the flying fish, bro. I didn't even know about the flying fish, really. This would have made a huge difference. Look, yeah, look at them buffing all the monkeys that are spawning. He could have buffed our slugs. We could have put bananas and everybody to spawn monkeys as well. Okay, I'm going to buy you. Okay. If it had a faint ability, activate it again. So that would summon another slug. That would be good, but then we'd have to move these back one, wouldn't we? So we'd have to put someone else in front. So who else could I put? I can't really put anybody else at the front, can I? Right, I'm just going to give a tomato to this guy. I think this run's cursed. I think it's over. It's too messy, man. I can't because I don't really know what I want to go for yet because I don't know all the pets and all the synergies and stuff. I'm just getting like torn between ideas, between runs. <clears throat> I really need... Oh, this guy's got a level two slug. Oh, no. Of course, of course, yeah, yeah, sound. It's over. Hang on, no, it's not. We've got a dog. Let's go. We got a draw. Okay, we're still in. We're still in, people. Okay. Let's go with. Um, none of those. This is what I think I wanted. Give it one experience and plus one attack. I think it's too late to do it now. Although, actually... I forgot we had that space there. Okay, level three ox it is. So he's going to get plus three, plus six for each slug. I'm going to go crane. Okay. Oh, no. I'm trying to just, I'm so like focused in on this. They've made all of those other pets weak. <clears throat> oh, the melon armor, bro. The melon armor is so useful. Come on. We're still in this. That's five trophies. We're halfway there. My voice is going. Level two crane is massive. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to re-roll and just... Yeah, nice. We'll freeze a slug, get a level two slug, get another slug. Okay. We don't have any buy abilities, so no need to buy the waffle or we'll freeze the waffle. Okay, I think we're still pretty far behind with this, to be honest. I should probably get cherries on. Why haven't I got cherries on? Well, I suppose one guy's going to get melon armor. I should probably get cherries on like, the first slug, the crane, and the blind fish, at least. Just to get like a few more trumpets, if that's going to help. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah. We're out, people. We're out. Okay. We learned a lot today. The nine trophy run was fun. This one was fun as well, to be fair, but I could have played it a lot better, I think. If I'd have realized this, could have got this a lot sooner. I think this worked quite well, but this guy's base stats may be too low. Um, that was good fun today, people. Thank you all for watching. Uh, well, as always, let me know your tips down below. Let me know what synergies worked. Let me know what I was doing wrong and what I could have done better. I'm trying to learn the pack, okay? It's a new pack. You guys have probably seen a lot of it or played a lot more of it than me. So I appreciate you guys helping me out. Uh, but apart from that, make sure to check out all my links in the description. And uh, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye.